Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing well today. Well, it's cold up here, of course, in the mountains. It's uh, around 10 degrees. Seems like it's about one below, but you know, the Lord makes a way where there seems to be no way. I've got my Lord's Gym on sweatshirt today, about two pair of long johns, two pair of socks. I'm, well, I'm wrapped up as much as I can. Well, maybe not as much as I can. I'm wrapped up pretty good. I tell you, I've been working on the house, trying to get things ready. We're down to the last wire now, folks. Did a lot of stuff yesterday. Got a lot of stuff to do today. They're going to bring the floors and put them in tomorrow. Uh, they were going to do it today, but they got set back a day, which I was very glad about because it gives me an extra day. So that's awesome how much God blessed in that area. Also, the Bible says in Psalm 66, 16, Come and hear all ye that fear God, and I will declare what the Lord hath done for my soul. Listen to that. Come and hear ye all that fear God, and I will declare what the Lord has done for my soul. Let me ask you that question today. The power that you have is your testimony. What has God done for you? How has God blessed you? Now, I don't want to deal with the stuff that hasn't happened because we all have that list. I just want to talk about what has happened in your life. What has God done for you? Answered prayer, met needs, helped you along the way. As you've identified the power and the presence of God, how awesome is it to know that he is there? Well, I understand. I understand that we're waiting on some stuff. And I understand that we're wanting some stuff. But my gracious, let's look at the way the Lord is blessed. Let's look at what God has done in your life. How he picked you up from where you were and put you where you ought to be. Now, you may have taken some stray trips uh, in that position. Maybe you kind of got off into sin a little bit. Maybe you got off and broke fellowship with God, and you need to get back. Now, let's, let me encourage you today that uh, you need to get back into the fellowship of the Lord, get back to his people. You say, I don't want anything to do with church, a bunch of uh, no good people down there. Well, listen, folks. Uh, they're just people like you, just people like me. We just we we are just people, and we're gonna make mistakes. We're gonna have bad days, but the power of your life is to remember what Jesus did for you. Your testimony. Come in here, all you that fear God, and I will declare what He hath done for my soul. Psalm sixty six sixteen. Let me tell you, the psalmist is saying what the Lord's done for me. Now let me ask you, when's the last time you told somebody what the Lord has done for you? Or you have said, uh, you know, I'm nothing's working out for me and you're playing handball on the curb and all that sort of stuff because you're so low. Yes, everybody has problems. Yes, I have troubles, of course. Everybody does that. But we have so much to be thankful for. Such a blessing, my gracious alive. To just think of the of the life and the and the health and the air and the vision and the hearing and the speaking and the ability to eat and all I mean just the things just those simple things that God has done and then given us a chance to choose from clothing to wear and in many cases cars to drive for some folks and then just the blessing of going to work and and earning uh, enough money to live on. I mean, listen, God has been so good. My gracious, have a warm house. I mean, when I woke up this morning, a little after five o'clock, I'm going to tell you it was cold outside, but where I was staying, it was warm inside. How great is that? I mean, we've got joy and happiness and blessings and, well, revival in our souls for what God has done. I do understand, hey, I do understand everybody's got a wish list. I do understand everybody's got a regret song to sing that they didn't do it this way, didn't do it that way. I understand all that, but let's, let's not focus on any of that today. Here on Tuesday, let's focus today on Tuesday on what the Lord hath done for my soul. Well, of course, the psalmist is talking to us about some very critical words that ought to make a lot of difference to us because if you are saved, you have been redeemed. And no greater thing the Lord could do for a person than to save them from their sins and afford them a place in heaven to live forever. Well, I don't know everything about that, of course, and no one does, but this is what I do know. I know it's going to be all right. I know God's going to do it right. I know it's going to be a blessing, and I know that God has changed my life. What about you? Has he changed yours? 
Has God really done something in you? Listen, folks, I mean something worth talking about. I mean, folks show the pictures of the grandkids. They show pictures of their, of their uh, you know, uh, of their, uh, well, their possessions, guns, cars, animals, whatever the case may be. But what about the Lord? What about bragging on what God has done for you? Now, you see my hand right here. This is an illustration. Now, you see my hand? That, that hurts my hand to be close to that degree. I open my hand up. Doesn't feel the greatest there. That's about, you know, that that's kind of close. For me to wrap my hand up here and get like if I were to punch something, that really hurts right now. But you know what? At least I can move it. That's my approach. Yeah, it does hurt when I do this, but it, I can move it. You see, God has been good. God is honorable. God is great. We ought to praise him for the goodness that he has done. Oh, how good the Lord is. Well, it may not be perfect with you. You may be looking for a job or looking for a mate or looking for a car or looking for this or that or the other, and you need to pray about that and stay in the will of God, and God will bless you for it. But how good has the Lord been? Come in here, all you that fear God, and I will declare what the Lord has done for me. Well, I think if you think about that, I think if you little, spend a little time thinking about that, I believe you'll come up with a whole bunch of things that God has done for you. Think about it. God will bless you for it. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.